it's Miss Beth and Ella. Good morning, Ella. It is story time day, but guess what? I have some exciting news. Story time is no longer going to be virtual come August. Starting August 2nd, Monday, story time is going to be live in the courtyard starting at 1030, weather permitting, of course, and we need you to all wear your masks just like I will be doing. So story time will begin on Mondays and Thursdays, 1030 in the courtyard. I cannot wait to see you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Today's story is called What Color is Night by Grant Snyder and the publisher is Chronicle Books San Francisco. All right. What Color is Night? color is night? Is it only black? And white? You know what this is? This is the moon. Look closer. What other colors do you see? All right. The night is blue with black shapes and lines. That was Miss Ella moving out of the way. And a big yellow moon beginning to rise. The park aglow with gold fireflies. The silver streak of a train rolling by. Fat brown moss dancing in yellow streetlights. The city lit up with neon red signs. Yellow headlights on a dark country road. See those headlights down there? A nighttime visit, a green eyed glow. Ooh. What are those? Do you know what those animals are? Those are called raccoons. And sometimes they like to get into your garbage and make a big giant mess. I hope that's never happened to you. A still blue pond, the white moon twice. How can the moon be twice? It's the reflection in the pond. So you have the moon up in the sky and then the reflection down below. Same with the clouds and the trees, the reflection. It's like a shadow. A thousand silver stars spilled across the sky. One last orange window, houses of black. The gray face of a clock, a midnight smack. And there, in a sky of indigo, 
all the night's colors in one moon bow. A clear window, a silver moonbeam, pink and purple clouds. A night of good dreams. And that is the end of What Color Is Night? Oh, that was a good one. We saw many different colors, didn't we? Many colors that you never think about when you think of a night sky. I especially like that picture with all the stars because when the sky is clear and you go outside and you can see all those stars, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Now, remember, story time is going to be at the library in the courtyard starting Monday, August 2nd and then Mondays and Thursdays at 10.30. Oh, I cannot wait to see you out there. I am Miss Beth, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day, and I will see you live next time. Woo, yay! Have a great day.